One of my favorite sex stories was from back when I was a stripper in Sacramento. I used to work at this little club in a warehouse district, so it was, it was very small and it didn't get a lot of people, but it got a strong clientele and so one guy would come in and he'd spend as much money as 20 guys might spend in a night shift. So this story happened on one of those days. It was, I remember specifically it was a Wednesday, it was like the deadest time of the week. And it was the first time I ever showed up to the club, probably the only time, um, where I was literally the only girl who showed up for her shift. And on top of it, there was no one in the club. I remember I came out, out of the locker room door and I walk around to the bar. The whole place is empty, like even the manager. He's, he's, um, he went and he hid in the office because there was nothing to do. The bartender, I, I don't know, she was like restocking or something. It was just completely, completely dead quiet and I was like the only living soul in this club. <laughs> so anyway, I'm standing there and I'm bored and Suddenly I, I look and I see that there's actually this guy, he's sitting against the back wall and it's dark so you can't really, you wouldn't see him unless you were looking and I was looking for someone and he's just sitting there <laughs> and I see him and you know my, my obvious uh, response to seeing a person in the club as a stripper is to go talk to this person and then as I get closer I realize he's really hot, <laughs> like, like a hot to the point that it makes me nervous. I was I was usually pretty confident as a stripper, but that dude just completely knocked me off balance and he made me so nervous. <laughs> he pats his lap and motions for me to sit down. And so I sit down and I'm totally tongue-tied and I have no idea what to say. And th there's this like pheromone thing that I start reacting to with him and he just turns me on so much. I don't know what it was about him, but I couldn't, uh, I couldn't, I couldn't do anything other than fixate on how hot he was. And next thing you know, I'm sitting on his lap and I'm dripping wet. Well, I didn't want him to know that I'm wet, so my solution is to give him a free lap dance so I'm not sitting on his lap anymore. <laughs> I'm like moving around. And he starts rubbing his hands on me as I'm dancing for him and it just made it way worse for me. And then I feel raging boner in his pants like when I say raging I'm, I don't mean like he was very hard I mean like he had a huge fucking dick and it was very hard so that was cool um so then I, I I'm having trouble like avoiding the fact of this large penis on this very attractive man on whose lap I'm dancing uh while I'm dripping wet and I started uh stroking his, his dick through his pants and I look over and the bouncer's still not there Next thing you know, I'm pulling this cock out of this dude's pants. We'd never said a word to each other. I just, I was just so drawn to this dude's dick. And I, I jumped on and we're fucking and then I, I feel like I can't get enough of this. And then I shove it in my ass and we keep fucking. <laughs>